completely renovated. And this lovely reading room is the start of that. So what you see here, we hope, will spread throughout the building. It's so exciting to have this mom here um, and to have something that named in her article. She's the impetus behind his success. He wouldn't be who he is today if it hadn't been for her wise insight. I was the family's physician. Sonia was truly obstreperous. When she walked into our medical clinic, we knew she was there. She expected the best and let you know. Sonia's drive and high expectations no doubt account for the accomplishments of her two sons. Dr. Carson's mother, Sonia Carson, who had only a third grade education, was determined to motivate her two sons to be educated and successful. In Dr. Carson's autobiography, Gifted Hands, he recalls his mother telling him that the doors of the world are open to people who can read. I was not uh, a particularly good student, and uh, that's probably quite an understatement. So I was, uh, my nickname was Dummy, that's what everybody called me. I was, I was the butt of every joke about somebody being a student. One thing that some people didn't have, and that was a mother who believed that, um, she said only two or three TV programs during the week, and with all that spare time, we had to read two books apiece from the Detroit Public Library. I was always looking at sentences and converting those into concepts, which means you had to be creative. You had to use your mind. And you see, that's something that you don't have to do when you watch them. You have to read to actually exercise your mind, make it much more flexible and much more active.